Hey everyone, Presito here, your second favorite Uniswap ape. So today the project I want to cover is actually super early, in my opinion. I mean, as you can see by their Telegram, there's only 430 people uh, on their group, which is, you know, nothing. Um, and I'm sure once the hype builds up, it's going to go even more. So that's the reason I want to actually uh, cover this video, since it's so early. Hopefully everyone can have a good opportunity uh, to get into the sales. It is actually so early that the tokenomics aren't out yet. They did say that they're going to release it in the coming weeks, though. So as soon as that's up, maybe I'll make a follow-up video or I can just post that on my Telegram, an announcement group. But from what I've seen from the project so far and the information, I really do like it and I think it's super promising. So let's have a look at their website. Basically, as it says here, uh, the CeFi to DeFi bridge and the forex to DeFi bridge so they say a uh, DeFi synthetic asset trading powered by cosmos cardano and polkadot so obviously that is already bullish in itself that they're going to be powered by those blockchains i see a lot of more projects building on cosmos and cardano now uh, obviously polkadot is a super hype one so they're also uh, building on that so that's very good uh, as you can see there's not much information yet on their website but um, their Discord is super helpful in their Telegram. They answer your questions immediately. I went to ask some questions and they literally answered within a couple minutes. So if you want to ask anything, uh, feel free to do that. So as a more in-depth intro as to what they want to do, they say uh, Onomi Protocol's mission is to power a multi-chain decentralized exchange that bridges traditional and decentralized finance. This mission is achieved by supporting the foreign currency exchange marketplace and over time other traditional assets on an entirely modernized infrastructure leveraging blockchain. So the idea does sound very interesting. They say that they propose to address a forex settlement risk. If you don't know what a forex settlement risk is, it's basically if bank A pays bank B a US dollar for pound. So they pay the US dollar but they don't get settled the pound in return so that's the settlement risk and that's what they propose to address through onomy which is a uh, decentralized protocol that virtualizes major currencies around the world and provides for near instantaneous settlement and they say recent advances in decentralized protocols and proven implementations of a new class of virtual assets named stable coins have made that possible so in order to do this uh, they're going to have three pillars uh, designed to be self-governed, the monetary stabilization system. They have ONET, which is a decentralized peer-to-peer -peer computational network that processes transactions submitted by users and reward operators in ONET's native protocol coin, which is NOM. Then ORES, so that governs minting of stabilized virtual currencies called DNOMs, utilizing OMY as collateral. Then Onex, which is a base layer decentralized exchange that is used by Onomi participants to trade NOM and DNOMs. And Onex is integrated with ORES to handle reserve account liquidations and rebalance collateral ratios during times of distress. So for more detail on the exchange uh, which they're going to have, which is uh, quite interesting. So they say the Onomi exchange bridges the gap between the largest market in the world, which is uh, trading forex currencies, and the realm of virtual currencies. So they say what's missing from forex is the guarantees provided by virtual currencies, such as accessibility, transparency, verifiability, riskless settlement, which we covered previously, which they want to solve, price discovery, accessibility, and the codification of transfer. So it does look very interesting uh, so far. Then uh, they're going to have a validator staking. So as they say, they're going to have a proof of stake model that bonds NOM to validators, either by validators themselves or by delegation, and then they can earn the token as a reward. Uh, stake NOM may not be used to mint new DNOMs while staked, which is something to keep note of, but they will receive the staking rewards. So that's also promising. They say that they plan to have 50% uh, of NOM staked, which i mean would be half the supply and that would drive the price up so that's pro so next up a bit further on the medium they say here it's built on cosmos obviously bullish powering the onomy exchange to be over 100 times more efficient than ethereum obviously at this point ethereum is a bit ridiculous so they say also that they aim to introduce the dex approach for forex trades 
leveraging pegged stablecoins as representations of fiat currencies to be used and traded. So the stablecoins are collateralized with Onomi's protocol token, NOM. This structure empowers NOM holders to issue and trade traditional currencies on modernized cross-border railways with instantaneous settlement. So then, of course, they're also going to have governance where NOM holders can vote on proposals and Onomi's validators can influence protocol changes with votes weighted in proportion to the amount of NOM they hold. Also another incentive to obviously hold as much NOM as possible. So in terms of their team, uh, there isn't info on their website, but I did ask on Discord and they gave me the information of the whole team. I did look through this and they are very impressive. I would go to it, but LinkedIn is actually down at the moment, funnily enough. But they look very experienced and very pro. Then in terms of the token sale, as I said, the tokenomics are not public at the moment. But they did say that there's going to be a bonding curve sale. So this person asked on Discord, have you already had your rounds of private sales? They said there is a round for strategic partners and value add investors that's been overcommitted. So they're already oversubscribed in terms of that. But you know, if you think you can add value, then definitely contact them and see you know, what you can do. And, you know, it's worthwhile contacting anyways, you know, worth asking. As they say, they're going to announce soon regarding the pricing and uh, distribution. And they say that they're going to have a bonding curve sale, which is a sort of perpetual liquidity tool uh, and a kind of automated market maker in itself. You know, Avagachi had that and it worked really well. I mean, it's, it goes on forever. As uh, they say, it's either, until, either forever until 100 million of their tokens are sold. Um, and the price goes up obviously the more tokens are bought and people can even sell into it so you know it kind of works like a uniswap trading in a way yeah so as they say here you can both buy and sell uh, from or to the bonding curve we take a tx fee per trade but the eth remains in the contract so there's always liquidity when the bridge is established and ready you can exchange the wrapped nom which you get in the bonding curve for normal nom on the army chain one to one then uh, the other question that was asked here is um, what is the maximum? So there is no cap on the bonding curve. You can buy as much as you want. And um, obviously the benefit is getting in early on the bonding curve. So if you get in early, people keep buying. The price keeps going up, of course. So overall, um, there's not a lot of info on you know what the total hard cap is going to be. Obviously with the bonding curve, it will vary. Um, I like the idea a lot. The team is very good. Uh, I think it's got a lot of potential. So it is one to monitor, but I do think it's very pro. So this one also gets a cuck pro, but I'm brackets to monitor because there's still a lot of info to come out on this. And I'm curious to see exactly what all the tokenomics are and, and everything like that. So once that comes out, the rating could potentially be upgraded. Uh, so yeah, let's see what they say on Tinder about Onomi. So as you can see for this video, I'm in Prague. Obviously the streets are a bit quiet at the moment, you know, with COVID, everyone's staying at home. But uh, let's see what they have to say about uh, Onomi here in Prague, Czech Republic, or Czechia, the new name. Anyways, so Jana, I said, what sounds cooler, Cosmos or Ethereum? She said, Cosmos. So I said, bro, I agree, it's a blockchain. Uh, Onomi will be built on it. So that's already a bullish thought. Alexandra, I said, would you invest in a project called Onomi? She said, I work in the investment field and no. I said, damn, coming from someone who specializes in investment, I value your advice even more. Thank you. It's a crypto pre-sale, by the way. And she said, and? I said, does that change your answer at all? She says, no. I have people doing this. Can I take a bath after work and not think about investing? I said, you should know more than anyone that with that mindset, you'll never get made. Never time to rest, <laughs> you know? You can't just uh, in this market take a bath and not think about investing. I mean, you have to think about it 24-7 and go crazy. And she said, do I owe you something? I said, yeah, thank you for my pro advice. <laughs> then Bara, I said, uh, can we name our kid Onomi? She said, why Onomi? I said, because it sounds pro, doesn't it? <laughs> she said, is it for a boy or girl? I said, hybrid. <laughs> she said, okay, I think it's a nice name for hybrid. I was about to text that I'm afraid that his or her classmates would call her uh, economy. <laughs> But looks like that won't be its biggest problem. So I said, thank you for using the right pronoun. <laughs> and she said, it's. Then Teresa, I said, uh, what sounds cooler, Cosmos or Ethereum? She said, if you mean which word, then Ethereum. If you mean which word, then Ethereum. So I said, thank you. Thanks. She said, you're welcome. You make your purchase decisions based on Tinder. I said, yes, is that good? 
She said, I'll probably say it's not the smartest thing. I know nothing about crypto. And the only reason why I said Ethereum was because Cosmos reminds me of Cult of Cosmos from Echo. I have no idea what that is. But I said, I need to reconsider my decisions then. Then Sabina, I said, will you invest in a project called Onomy? She said, what a pickup line. What's that supposed to mean anyway? I said, yes, it's a Chospro pickup line. Just trying to find out if I should invest in it. She doesn't know what Chos means. <laughs> That's not pro. She said, um, you're collecting votes from your Tinderellas. I don't like the word on me, so I would not invest. So that's a bit bearish. Then Dorsa, I said, can we name our kid on me? She said, Richard suits it better as a royal here. I said, but Richard isn't a pro crypto pre-sale. <laughs> she said, his name should indicate his authenticity though. And I said, on me is authentic F. <laughs> and that wraps up my Tinder review. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, as usual, leave a like and subscribe. It really helps and uh, join the telegram group and announcement group and thanks for watching i'll see you guys next time